second time. Ah! Tom Cruise used a witchcraft on me to get the fire off me! Let's go forward, back your mouth, see the takedown. Okay, so what is OC spray? How does it feel? Are you going to die when you get OC sprayed at MP Bullock if you get sprayed because you were doing something unlawfully? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video, right? Okay, so let's just let's just get to the video. OC spray. So the active ingredient in OC spray is a chemical that is derived from the fruits of plants, right? So OC spray is an inflammatory agent. What does that mean? It inflames the mucus membranes in the eyes, the nose, throat, and the lungs. There's going to be a point to where you might not think that you can breathe, but you can breathe and you need to relax and remember your training and just think that you've been OC'd now. So that was already half the battle. Now the other half of the battle, the other 50% is getting through all these different um, stations and then detoxing, which that'll be another separate video. So if you go to your car, it's gonna hurt. So you might as well finish the training and get certified and get your certificates. Some people are gonna have runny noses. Some people are gonna have snot and everything drip, like just dripping all over the face. Some people are gonna be coughing. Some people are going to think they cannot move at all, but you need to relax and just listen to your battle buddies. Battle buddies cheer <laughs> your battle buddies on when they're going through this. This is one of those things in the military to where I just feel like everybody knows it sucks. So there's no reason to lie to anyone. Everybody know it just sucks. And this is great training that you have to get through. OC is also going to make it to where the eyes shut just like that, right? So whenever you are getting OC'd and they spray you and you're a surf or you are sprayed by someone, an instructor who has been to IOIC, who is certified to expose you to OC spray, they're gonna ask you to open your eyes right after they spray you, and then, so kinda like that, and then they're gonna tell you to go, right, to the first station. Why do we get exposed to OC and the different levels of contamination? Okay, so there are three levels when it comes to contamination for OC spray, and I'm gonna read them off because I don't wanna slander or mess up any of them. So, level one contamination is defined as a direct physical contact with OC. This occurs when a subject is sprayed directly in the face, directly in the face, with OC. Certification to carry OC requires exposure to a level one contamination. Now moving on to level two. Level two contamin contamination is defined as indirect or secondary contact with OC. What does that mean? Let's say you OC someone and then you take them to the ground and you um, put hand irons on them and you apprehend them, right? Because military police and the army, we apprehend, we do not arrest. Now let's say you do that you could receive a secondary, as it says here, contact with the OC because now that it's on their face and let's say you guys had to wrestle on the ground and everything until you actually got that um, individual to compliance. Now you might have a little bit of it on you and you will feel it. Now, level three contamination is defined as an area of contamination with OC. So for my MP bullet class, I know that we all stood in a line at a position of attention and they ran, they they ran down the line, spraying it on the ground in front of us, and you could smell it. It smelled like peppers, and you were like, oh man, we were in a world for her. So, level one contamination is defined as direct physical contact with the OC. Level two, secondary contact, mainly. Level three, an area contact. So, these are all vital so that whenever you do get one of these level of contaminations, you know what's going on, right? It just goes back to the gas chamber, so you know the effects, so you don't flip out, and you're like, oh shoot. This is OC spray. Oh shoot, this is like chemical biological warfare. I need to, boom, down my mask. Or, well not for this, but for that. Um, but yeah, you are getting OC. You are going to do your mock drills, which you'll learn your mock takedowns when you're at Bullock. This video is not about that, but you'll learn those and you're gonna need those whenever you actually um, go, whenever you actually get to OC day, right? So when you learn your mock drills, make sure you practice them, practice them but make sure you're practicing them safely with a battle buddy. You guys are hurting each other, right? OC day, you guys are gonna set it up. You guys are gonna set up the blue match. You guys are gonna have people that are actually like at those stations and there's gonna be at least five, if I do not, at least five stations, if I'm not mistaken, that might change depending on your class and things that MP Bullock are always changing, but you're going to get sprayed by someone who's actually certified to expose you to OC spray, right? Typically they're aiming for right above the eyebrows, right? And once they get it, then you guys are going, then, well, you're doing it by yourself, right? You're gonna have your baton in your hand when you're getting sprayed, um, not an actual like metal baton for safety concerns. And then you're gonna go to your first station. And our first station was, you were just 
you were hitting the back, right? You were hitting it back and forth. And then once that happened, you took down a, a mock. Yeah, yeah. Down, down, down. Okay, sir. I'll give him compliance. Uh. Bring your, uh, cross your feet, cross your feet. Bring him to your back, bring him to your back, to your back, to your back. To your back. Okay, dark down, sprawl. Right, let's go, next. Don't touch your face, sir. Keep going. Come on. Go this way. Next station, you take someone down again with the mock. And then station number three for us was you enter through the cones and everything, and then you actually hit them with, well, you hit the people with the mats, um, and, he's, and you uh, push them away, and you say, oh, see, oh, see. Oh, see, oh, see. Oh, see, oh, see. Oh, see, oh, see. Let's go. You always say OC before you spray so people know they're about to get OC, just like taser, taser. And then OC, OC, and then boom, you're on to the next station. And then you, the fourth station, we actually, I believe, did two mocks. And then after that, we uh, pulled our our weapon, not a real weapon, pulled our weapon. And then, you know, we were supposed to say, get down on the ground and talk them through compliance, right? Okay, now, when you're at these mocks, you're going to, well, when you're at these stations, you're going to take someone down and then onto the mat. And then you're going to talk them through compliance, right? You're going to have them, you know, arm right here. And you're going to say, look away from me or look look away from the, um, the sound of my voice. And then you're going to tell them bring their feet to their buttocks. And then you're going to um, have them bring their arms around, boom, boom. And you're going to simulate cuffing, depending on, you know, what it's told. But uh, cuff, cuff, boom, back up, look left or look right, and then move on to the next station. So lastly, for this video, I want to just give you guys a little bit of a motivational kind of little spill. So you're gonna be nervous. Some of y'all might not be, but some of y'all are gonna be nervous. I was nervous, I'm not even gonna try to lie. But just remember that you can get through this. This is another obstacle in your way um, when it comes to graduating MP Bullock and going out to the force and doing bigger and better things for your military, your country. For the men and women that you will one day lead the United States Army. So just remember that you can do this. Push through the pain. Things that are worth it, you have to go through something first, right? So just remember that sometimes you got to go through the darkness. You got to go through some pain. You got to go through the wilderness just to get what you want in life. And this is one of those things worth getting. So remember why you were there at MP Bullock and you will be fine when it comes to OC Day. With that being said, you guys have a great day. Happy 2020. Happy New Year's. Hope everyone's smiling out there and they had a great New Year's. I'm so happy to be back on YouTube for this new year. Have a great one, guys. And have a blessed one.